us back in the day, but we'll see how it goes. That was one thing I remember. That team did manage to go to Worlds last year. Now, well, guys, what do you think? Can they pull out a win here and maybe start turning their fortunes in a positive direction? Tweet us at LL Esports, see W win or SK win. They are very bot focused. You know, one thing we haven't really been able to talk about this game has been that mid lane, but there's just been so much action all across the map elsewhere that generally frankly, it tends to happen in lane. It's been folks. the quieter one, yeah. Oh, Svensk Karen's here too. Great Great is going telegraphing on. this gank really hard. A huge amount of damage. He's gonna go down. That's first blood to Airwalks. Svensk Karen and Candy Panda in hot red. Will never move that far up unless he has a jungler behind him, you know? So mm -hmm. it kind of gives it away. But let's see if Freddy can make it out of this gank. Both teams have been doing that for now. Freddy, though, is gonna have a hole heaping, helping a damage on him as he tries to run away. Flash is followed by Airwax. The hate spikes are flying. Is it enough? He needs one more, and he gets it. Airwax comes up with another kill. This is in base. I'm wrong. I'll take that I, back. I, I, think, I think SK's got this one, but that was just really good timing by them, despite the fact that they gave up a kill on Freddy. SK Gaming secure the first dragon 10 and a half minutes in. Towards up there, Sven. Catches a dark binding, but there's no follow-up, so he's perfectly fine now. Freddy and Youngbug are duking it out. Freddy getting close to Meganar, but Youngbug has the damage on him, and in comes Airwax. This looks like a repeat performance, and before he can go, Meganar, Arcane, smash you down. Yeah, Freddy cut from our okay. flank, but it's got to be spotted. SK Gaming knows something is up. Freddy has not started this one. Ooh. Candy Panda just getting chunked out, and Airwax will pick up another kill. Fox trying to back out, but he's being chased down by so many members. It's dragging up. Might trade a tower for it, though. Hey, I went and checked and that was a ward placed by Aerox and it's a really nice TP ward because you don't see the you don't see the TP channel because you rarely have that area warded. Why would you want it for you anymore? You will have to reaction push it out and you'll lose even more. So really really unfortunate for Copenhagen Wolves. Or for SK rather. This might be unfortunate for Copenhagen Wolves. Fox looks to chase down unlimited but freeze, you don't have enough damage freezes there. Unlimited will go down and raided gets a few flanks carved off of him by freeze but vision's important but Not oh, there's gotta be a limit. But now Speaking of vision, Candy Panda never saw it coming as Airwax moves in on him, the dash away. He's just not got nearly enough damage. See, and that was Candy Panda still oh pushing God. out that wave that I talked to earlier, but let's hold on that for now. Because in even numbers with such a gold lead, Copenhagen Wolves is obviously going to come out ahead. And uh, they're whittling down this mid lane tower. Meganar's coming in though, have to be careful. Spence scared. Oh, he eats a binding. In comes Meganar. Youngbuck gets kicked back, but that's just fine. Twisted advance back into N rated and SK Gaming. They're starting to melt. Soren moves forward. Emperor's divide and throws down the Zanyas. He's face taking a whole ton of damage, but he stays alive. Double kill for Draven as he gets his stacks cashed in. A triple kill. Oh, baby. He's looking for more. N rated. His time is numbered. And that's the ace for Airwax. The Wolves can take free towers. Been inhibitor. Airwax now sneaky move into Candy Panda just outside his range. And there is the ultimate. Ultimate. The hate spikes are falling. There's a tower there, but Airwax is still tanking this. It might not be the best decision he's ever made, but he still gets the kill. And now he's running. Can he make his great escape as Freddy throws the boomerang? He's flashed into the base well, now. A secret mission for the Evelyn. Yeah. I don't I think this is going to end well. This is good if you have cross map potential, oh, but Young is uh, doing top lane. They're going for Baron. He's keeping them busy, but. Oh boy. Yeah, he's dead. But there's I mean, that was a nice stall out. Yeah, it's a nice stall. To take this inhibitor, what can SK do to stop this one? Sven Skaren, he's got to start by connecting those views. The black shield. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Nope. Lost inhibitor. Get back into the safety of the... Yeah, but Fox is here for the defense as well. Black Shield thrown on Airwax. This is just buying time, however, for the Baron. In comes around the side. It's going to be N-rated. The Baron has been forgotten as N-rated's a juicier target. Carve off a side of uh, that beef. Freeze picks up another cash in on his stacks. Airwax kiting, or rather chasing around and forcing SK to kite back. They've lost their big beefy tank line. And Freddy can't really do much else for this team right now. Opening Wolves, they can wait just a minute. Sven Skarin is going to get a heal. Airwax, now Freeze comes in. They miss Candy Panda with his E. He's going to go forward. Another pickup. And now Fox is on the run. SK Gaming, they're just getting jumped all around the flash, but Youngbuck's still following through. Freddy is going to go down. Only question now is who is going to get it. He burns his flash in a desperate attempt to get away, and he just might have done it. But Airwax is still there, and hello, hate spikes. Is it going to hit? The second one's the charm. Yeah, he got him. I, I like that Copenhagen Wolves didn't put that Baron below the 2k. Good as it's going to get for SK, unlucky they didn't get the Baron. Now, Spence Karen, he's still hoping for that Miracle Steal, but Airwax is giving him a little bit of a hard time right now. Fox trying to stop this, but Airwax is basically soloing these members here, and Spence Karen's going down. Freeze takes the opportunity. Baron still chunking away as the Wolves just take this one extended without the smite threat. 
any more are available anymore. Yeah, we really, a lot really, for words this game, Crapo. Yeah, it's getting a little tricky with all the action. Kind of SK game in draft though. They put their sports psychologist in, in in the drafting coach position. Not sure how well that will work out for them this time, but it's too early to tell. You know, first game of the season, anyways. But this split, you know, we don't know what SK is gonna do. Well, Copenhagen Wolves don't seem to care right Dead now damage. as the Axes come back. Freeze with the godlike kill. As low as he is on HP, he's able to pick up another. And SK Gaming are dropping like flies. No more members remain except for Sven and Candy Panda. That's not going to be long. It's going to be a double kill for Soren. Candy Panda back on the fountain. The Nexus is about to be naked here. And Copenhagen Wolves in 32 minutes take down SK Gaming and thunder off to a 1-0 start in the summer split. Two very, very impressive performance. Oh, yes. We have seen one-sided games, Crepo. That one might be one of the biggest. Ending the game on a 17,000 gold, gold lead. Oh. Impressive. And the, the classic howl coming out. It's back. Ow. It's back. We only asked Dentist when it was going to be back. He said eventually. I guess that's now. I guess he's back. Back again. Back once again. Tell your friends. Yes, indeed. 32 minutes is what it took to finish that one off. And SK Gaming, they still have a lot of questions to answer. Yes, we can't take too much away. It's only been one game. That's true. For now, the Wolves have found the right formula. I just want to thank Sorn for picking Azir. Um, I was always harping on that Azir, you know, highlighting how good the champions. He picked it and proved that it was good. Go on with it. Thank you, Sorn. Thank you so much for that. And yeah, good performance by the Wolves. However, some slip-ups. Mm -hmm. you know, these teams are, are not... not projected to be top three right now so let's see how they do against better teams but obviously week one we're not sure how this is going to evolve we'll need to wait for week two week three see if if some of these teams fall into predictable patterns and how they adapt because that's the mark of a great team in my opinion how you 